Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. On today's video, we will be looking at idiot owners on Bar Rescue. In 2004, Juan Pablo Martinez moved from the Dominican Republic to San Diego, California to help his brother run the successful Caribe Night. Old LA music venue was the lucky winner for this episode and it needed major help. The interior and exterior were falling into disrepair and oddly enough the owner didn't seem to mind one bit. It's surprising that the owner would even agree on John coming in and working his magic, but at least it happened. It's still open to this day, so John must have sparked some passion in the owner after all. However, once more, the bar was in shambles and disgusting. And I'm yeah. so you for your whole life. I was a doctor and I had my career there and I put everything aside. The first day I got here, I never even made it inside the bar. I got involved in a fight in the parking lot where your manager was fighting with you, Sarissa. A restaurant is a great place for a first job, but when the managers and staff don't care, it can be horrible. This was the case at the O-Face Bar as the staff got drunk, started fights with one another, and much, much worse. Once John put them to the test, the food wasn't edible, mixing glasses were broken, and a physical fight broke out. The worst part? These people were family. In the end, John decided to walk away for the first time in history and recommend counseling for everyone. Two years later, the owner was arrested on suspicion of abuse, so it's pretty obvious why the O-Face bar is permanently closed. Boy, zero. You have no responsibility. None. You see, I have a reputation, and I have to protect it. I don't even want to tell you what you're about to watch. I just want you to watch this. This year, 6,500 failing bars will close their doors for good. Things don't change soon. Cheers in Boston, Massachusetts will become just another statistic. Managing the bar was difficult for Bob Isaacin, and it wasn't easy as Cheers made it seem. So he brought his girlfriend in to help him out. It seemed like an easy decision until their relationship became strained. On top of that, his staff didn't respect him, and conversations often turned into fights. This bar was much like the O-Face bar where they broke into fist fights. The worst part? The bar was losing 6000 a month in revenue, which is never a good sign. Basically, there was no leadership, the bar lacked any sort of identity, and jobs were taken seriously. John and his team seemed to help guide the team back to their main objective, and gave the bar a makeover, and we named it the Waypoint Saloon. So I got great recon tonight. I got two really good friends of mine, Dan and Dave, from Barstool Sports. Okay. Barstool Sports is a very famous national website. In this episode, John realized that there was an abundance of managers on site, which wasn't needed. They all seemed to have their own agenda, but the one thing they saw eye to eye on was giving the owner a hard time. It's not a good sign when the owner can't successfully manage his own staff, and John saw this right away. From their attitude towards the recon to the constant arguing, it was a painful episode to watch. Since the show, the bar is now called BR Steak, and it's actually still in business, but once more, there's still a lot of managers on site. Maria, you had a strawberry margarita. Yes. This is your margarita mix, your strawberry mix. Two brothers owned the original hideout in Tuscan, Arizona. Its main issue was that one of the brothers owed $300,000 in debt and couldn't seem to keep up. The overwhelming weight these two brothers had on their shoulders was huge, but it's what some business owners have to endure. The other brother, Raul, couldn't seem to shake their stress and anxiety and literally ran away during filming. It was a sad scene and these brothers were completely in over their heads. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.